Okay, so when you have new uh, project in Revit opened and you want to draw the Kingspan panel, you have to go to the structure tab to select the beam option. You see here just a, a steel plate if you want to use the Kingspan. You have to find uh, this panel. Let's say I will go where I keep them. So I will choose one of these wall panels, let's say this one, I will choose the required thickness, okay, this one, this one, let's see, let's try to use this one, so I load this one to the project, and you see, you see that it appears here, uh, if I will click on edit type, I will see the properties of this panel, so I see if which uh, profile will be used for the exterior side. If I change this one, uh, the exterior profile will be changed to this one. Uh, the thickness is defined according to the type. Okay, if I change the type, you can see here now uh, the changes in the thickness and uh, panel wave and other parameters updates according to the settings which is defined in the Revit family. So okay, let's say for this panel I will choose this exterior profile. I'll click on OK and I will just draw it like this, like five meters uh, element. I will draw the section over here. Okay, and let's go to the section, double click on that, and you see this uh, this element over here. If I will change the type, let's say from here to the smaller thickness, then I will have the panel like this. Uh, I can just uh, copy this panel. Okay, I'll uh, uncheck constraint and I will copy it like this. And I will have this uh, panel over here now. And we can take a look to the 3D view. I will change the to the shaded mode. The side of the exterior uh, panel depends on the uh, drawing direction of your element. Let's say if I will uh, change this, um, I will draw it from the other side, I will have the exterior side on the other side. Okay, and let's see. I see now the exterior side is on this side. And if can modify the exterior uh, profile. If I will click on that, you will see the changes appears here. Uh, so I can load as many uh, elements as I want. Let's say I will um, load the other family. So I will go to the roof panels and select, let's say, this one, open it load it to the project again, wait for it mm -hmm. and we can just draw this uh, panel let's say like this and we will have it over here just like this and we can uh, copy it with, I don't know, the exact distance Okay. Uh, whatever you want and how many you want. You can change the offsets and so on, but I can demonstrate this. This is usual approach of uh, standard Revit users, so they know how to do this. Uh, there is no question about that. So this is short demonstration. I hope that helps. Uh, let me know.